गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट सेफ इन योर होम सो एज वी डिस्कस्ड इन ऑन द सैटरडे क्लास रिगार्डिंग द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द फोर्थ चैप्टर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज दैट इज एक्सरसाइज 4.1 चैप्टर नेम क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज द क्वेश्चन इज चेक वेदर चेक वेदर द फॉलोइंग check whether the following are quadratic equations so what do you mean by this there will be certain equations so that equation we have to check whether it is in the form of quadratic equation or not so now what is the standard form of quadratic equation the standard form of quadratic equation is ax plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so i have to check whether each equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c square term x square term should be there then only it is a quadratic equation or else it is not in the form of quadratic equation so coming to the first question The first question is x plus one whole square is equal to two into x minus three. This is the equation. I have to check now whether this equation is in the form of quadratic equation or no. So let us look at the solution now. Now how to solve the problem? Whatever equation is given, so let us take given. x plus one whole square is equal to two into x minus three. Now what is this? It is in the form of a plus b whole square. What is a plus b whole square? A square plus two ab plus b square. Apply that. A square plus b square plus two ab is equal to multiply the bracket term two into x two x minus two into three six. we have applied a plus b whole square formula here we have applied a plus b whole square formula what is that a square plus b square plus 2ab even you can write a square plus 2ab plus b square both are one and the same so this formula i have applied here now x to the power 2 is can be written as x square one square is 1 2 into x into 1 is 2x which is equal to again 2x Minus six. If you compare the LHS and RHS term, even in LHS term there is plus two x. Even the RHS term is also plus two x. If both the equations have same sign, then I can cancel these two. If not, take both the terms to the LHS. Two x minus two x will become zero. Either you can do in that way, or if any equations on the LHS and RHS have same sign, same number as well as variable, you can cancel that. Now what is remaining? X square plus one is equal to minus six. Now what I'll do? I'll take this minus six to LHS. What it will be? X square plus one plus six is equal to zero. X square plus seven equal to zero. So X square means equation of square two. It is in the form of quadratic equation if you want to represent in standard form bx term is missing here okay even you can represent this as x square plus 0x plus 7 equal to 0 both are same you can write any one of this so what will be the conclusion therefore it is a quadratic equation so this is how you solve the problem whatever equation is there you will take it as a given then you will apply the identities here i have applied a plus b whole square identity i have multiplied the bracket terms once i multiply and apply the formula if you look at here 
on the LHS and RHS, both the terms have same sign plus plus constant to 2 that is coefficient of x even x. So 2x and 2x both are same. I can cancel it. If not, you can take the term to the LHS. You can cancel 2x minus 2x. It becomes 0. x square plus 1 remaining term minus 6 as usual. If minus 6 comes to the LHS part, it will become plus 6. So 1 plus 6 is 7. x square plus 7 equal to 0. I, since there is an x square term, 100% it is in the form of quadratic equation. If you want to represent in standard form, which term is missing here? Bx term, linear term is missing here. Okay, So that linear term I will represent as 0 of x. That's it. So this is how we solve the problem. This is problem. Coming to problem number 2. The question is x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x. Okay. So now coming to the solution. Solution part. What you will write first? Given x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x. Now here these two terms I will write it as usual x square minus 2x is equal to. Now multiply the bracket term minus into plus minus. First always multiply sign then multiply the terms. 2 into 3 is 6 minus into minus plus 2 into x 2x. Now don't cancel this minus 2x and plus 2x sign are different no doubt 2x variable and 2x both are same but their sign is different so you cannot cancel you can cancel the LHS and RHS term only if the terms have different so you cannot cancel so understand this difference now what I will do I will take all the LHS term sorry RHS term to LHS x square I will keep it as usual minus 2x I will keep it as usual plus 2x if it comes to LHS part it will become minus 2x minus 6 if it comes to LHS it will become plus 6 is equal to 0 now x square as usual minus 2x minus 2x both have same sign minus 4x plus 6 equal to 0 so this is the equation I got now again see it is expressed in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 standard form there is a presence of x square so it is a quadratic equation conclusion you read therefore it is a quadratic equation give reason means the degree of the equation is 2 that's it okay so now let us go for third problem problem number 3 the problem number third is x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. Same procedure you will write given as usual. Coming to the solution, you will write same given whatever is equation is given, you will write it as given, then multiply the bracket term. So given x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. Now multiply the bracket term. x into x, it will be x square. Again, first variable, I will multiply with both. Second variable, I will multiply with the both. First x into x, x square. x into 1, 1x one or simply x. Now, minus 2 into x, minus 2x. Minus into plus, minus 2 into 1, 2. This is about LHS part. Coming to the RHS, x into x, x square, x into 3, plus 3x, minus 1 into x, minus x, minus into plus, minus 1 into 3, 3. Here also x square, LHS term, RHS also x square, both will cancel because sign same and variables are same, x square and x square, both will get cancelled. What is remaining? x minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 
3x minus x minus 3. x minus minus x. If you feel like confused how we got, you can do roughly minus 2x plus 1x. Nothing here means 1. x variable will be as usual. If sign are different, I will subtract 2 minus 1 is 1. The greater number has sign negative, so it will become minus 1x or simply minus x. Then here minus 2 as usual is equal to 3x minus x. It will be 2x minus 3. Now either you can shift RHS term to LHS, but when you shift RHS term to LHS, 2x if it goes to uh, LHS part, it will become minus 2x. I will say you both the way, because there again you have to take minus sign. Choice is yours. Now the condition is, what if I shift RHS terms to LHS? Okay. Now see here, minus x as usual. 2x if it goes to LHS part, it will become minus 2x. Minus 2 as usual, 3 towards LHS part, plus 3 is equal to 0. Now. minus x minus 2x what it will be 3x minus 2 plus 3 it will become plus 1 equal to 0 now see here again here it is minus sign I have to take minus sign common then it will become 3x minus 1 equal to 0 because minus sign is outside or else you can again shift LHS term to RHS first variable will keep always positive so now what will be this 3x minus 1 equal to 0. So when you shift RHS term to LHS, check which is the greater number. If 2x is greater than minus x, you can shift LHS to RHS. But if you shift RHS to LHS, again you have to take minus sign 